Alright, I think this is still the play. <gasps> what? Yeah, <laughs> Sharpedo's dead. Good my boy. <laughs> and he gets crit too. Alright, just don't explode. Right? <laughs> just, just don't explode. Yeah, alright. Alright, time to tab in. Alrighty. So we're leading with Pyro. Pyro just kills us with two flamethrowers because of unnerve. Uh, it can never hit us with Custat Berry Explosion. So we go flamethrower, flamethrower. Okay. So we have Cherry Berry on this guy, just in case it paras. That's exactly why we have Cherry Berry. I can't. I'm in a fight. So go Flamethrower. Yes, no Nathan in, in the party. So this is always Air Slash. Oh, it can be discharged, but it doesn't matter. And we go straight into Amphros. Amphros was lucky enough to have Hidden Power Ice. Just double checking. Yes, that is Rotom. So we have Rawsberry on this in case of Will-O-Wisp. Uh, hex crit. And we just have to like hidden power this down. That's exactly why we have it. Hidden power. Nice. And hidden power. So nothing sees quick kill. So that means it should bring out Scald from uh, Lantern. And we go into Banshee here. We have a Rost Berry. In case it burns. It's exactly why we have Rost. Exactly. So we outspeed, and we can kill this with two Trop Kicks. The only thing is, it can go Ice Beam or Thunder Wave. Thunder Wave uh, is bad, because then it's a 50-50 if we kill or not. Okay. So now it's a 50-50 if we kill or not on this attack. Beautiful. So this should be Zero Aura. And it can only hit close combat. Where are we going to Quillfish? It does take a little bit of damage, but that's fine. Go 
goes minus one. You've probably seen this a billion times by now. Then it sees Plasma Fist as quick kill. Where are we going to Toga tomorrow? Just double checking everything. So it's now minus one. So it should be 30% damage. And then we hit this with a fake out. And because it sees close combat is the only kill, we go right back into Cool Fish. And then repeat that back into Cool Fish, who takes around 20% damage or 25% damage. Where we go fake out. Go back into cool fish. Back into Toga tomorrow. Where fake out iron barbs should just kill. This will bring out Drain Punch from uh, Electros because it sees kill. And we switch into the Prince himself that isn't surviving this fight. Rebu Gulliman. So unfortunately we can't go back and forth damage because of um, crits and what's the other thing? Because of crits and uh, uh, and the leftovers that this thing has on it. So highest damage move, last move for my favorite boy of the run so far. We hit poison jab. We outspeed, and then he dies. Goodbye, my boy.
Loved you. And we just clean up with Rogal Dawn. Who skill link never melt ice is 70% damage to 80% damage. We kill 100% of the time. We outspeed and kill. And then the demon Amphros Rogal Dawn just cleans up. We're faster, he can't kill us. One for the money, two for the better green, three for the methyoxid methamphetamine, and five for the culture. And that's what said no ground types, screw you for taking cool fish from me. And taking cheese badge, uh, bad gex. Yeah, <laughs> it, it 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 took like half of yesterday to calc that. My dad of one cleaner, not but congrats. Ah, uh, that's the way you do it. <laughs> I mean, losing cool fish is like horrible, especially for what's coming up, but. Oh, no. No, not withdraw. Yeah, move. Goodbye, sweet prince. Literally. <laughs> three out of the four Pokemon we've lost is in Timon. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> and our boy Pingu finally rejoins the team <laughs> after like forever. People the internet. Uh, I don't have a lot to say for myself other than um, we're on cycling road. Uh, we've lost four Pokemon, all of them in Tim Pokemon. But one thing, one thing actually. So I was going over all of like Nuzlocke's last night, and. So it came up that Sharpedo lost black glasses uh, on the, the trainer Cheryl fight, right? And um, I've made the decision that with these runs, because I think I'm not sure. I have to double check with other streamers, like like p people are streaming this as well. Um. If this is a guaranteed run or not. Not guaranteed, but like a, an official run or not. In the official Nuzlocke rules, if a Pokemon loses an item, you like dies with an item, you can still keep that. Um, I'll have to actually see what the other guys are doing. But we're going to rip this from Sharpedo's dead body. To put it bluntly. Uh, let me turn that down. We're going to rip this from Sharpedo's dead body. Um, and I guess we can take this from Stoutland's as well. Alright. 
It's rival fight time, right? Yeah. So, this is a very scary team. Extremely scary. And what I've found is I have no out for that uh, Indeedy in the front. And the only, literally the only way that I've uh, uh, found a way to kill this thing in one shot is uh, black glasses. So black glasses. And then we're doing two things. Maximize IVs. Where's the... <laughs> the, the duck's there. <laughs> so, just so you... Sh I, 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 I need to show you this uh, thingy. So, indeedy, right? This Indeedy is an absolute monster. <laughs> Indeedy can have my psychic surge. <laughs> okay. So literally the only way that I found that I can kill this Indeedy. So it sets up psychic terrain so we can't get any um, priority moves like Aqua Jet or Fake Out. Which would have been nice because we could go Fake Out Crunch. But we can't. So we have to give this black glasses. Shut up! I'm explaining things. So we have to go black glasses. 31. Uh, we have to use a scale to put floats at 31 attack. And then because it's still 29, like there's still a range there. We have to use a rare candy. And then it sees... It doesn't see a kill on three rolls. That's the only way we kill this in one shot. Only way. And I cannot, for the life of me, figure out a way around that. So that's what we have to do. We have to use our only rare candy to level this up. It's literally the only way, and it's not even flawless. All right. So we had to invest a heart scale and a rare candy in on Floatzel with black glasses to see kill in a uh, uh, a chance of 3 in 16 not to kill with crunch. Oh, oops. Yeah. So in a 3 in 16... It's it. GG. Pingu's our best option. I don't even know who this brings out. Septile for Leaf Storm. Okay. We go with the old plan, which is switch to Masquerade. This is going to intimidate it, which is then going to trigger the White Herb. And because it's hitting Leaf Storm, means that it gets its minus two special attack. <sighs> now. 
So now this goes acrobatics, and we go stun spore. That shouldn't have killed. It's boosted. Necro is doubled because a white herb consumed. And why is that dealing no damage? Why is that dealing no damage? Why is that dealing no damage? It's meant to be 65 to 80. What is that? We're in Psychic Terrain. It's minus two special attack. We won't hit with... And then this Houndoom just kills. Why? 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 That makes no sense at all. Oh. Oh. And now, and now this guy's just dead to a pursuit. It's dead to, let, let's, yeah. Why? Why? So this is Drain Punch.
Okay. Thank you, Clam, for coming along. <sighs> yeah, good shit. Go f Minus my attack. Yeah, you fucking asshole. So this is minus two. And this is hitting earthquake for kill. We out speed. I broke my headset. My right ear doesn't work. You deserve a rock? Go fuck yourself! <laughs> <laughs> 